morning YouTube. It is cold out here, check it out. <laughs> got my coffee, got my breakfast. The coffee is amazing because it's warm, but it is for reason out here. And it's foggy, man, check out how foggy it is. So I'm heading home with my, my muffin and my coffee, and uh, let's get this day started. I will see you guys in the next clip. Don't you just love that great big jump cut between breakfast and lunch? It's like, I'm getting ready for breakfast, and then next thing you know, I'm having lunch. And I'm not having breakfast or lunch right after breakfast. That just wouldn't make sense. But it is lunchtime. Um, I power cleaned the house is what I did. That's what took all that time between breakfast and lunch. I power cleaned the house. I mean, we're talking mopping and sweeping and vacuuming and wiping things down and dusting stuff and the whole shebang i just went through this house and just gave her a work over i feel good about myself now so what i'm having for lunch is this i mean not just this that would be pathetic that would probably be an addiction these grapes kind of just a side thing and these are called holiday grapes and if you, if you like grapes and if you like fruit and if you want to eat, you know, somewhat healthier or, or eat more natural, more organic, then grapes are the best. Delicious. And then I've got, I've got this bad boy right here. Marie Callender's uh, Herb Roasted Chicken. That sounds good. I also got this monster. So dark in here. Look at this. Look at this one. It's an, another absolute zero, zero sugar, zero caffeine, zero calories, zero everything. Um, a lot of B vitamins in this thing. That, that that's what really gets you pumped up. But it's Battlefield. It's uh, that's the coolest can ever. I'm saving that for later. Having my white one right now. And I'm gonna get this lunch done. So uh, gotta start this oven to. What do we do? Okay, okay. where's the end? Oh, 350. So we do this to 350, which is really what it starts out at. It just, when you hit the button, it starts out at 350 and then you can lower it. Does anybody care? Does anybody really care that I'm having lunch? Maybe, maybe a few of you do. Just cause you're that awesome and you like me. You really like me. Anyway. Enough of this shenanigans, time for lunch. I will see you guys in the next clip.
staring at it, I realized using the video, Rode Video Mic Pro, if you don't turn the mic on, you won't have audio. Hope that's the only clip. We shall see. Good morning YouTube. So I'm out here running. It's, it's feeling good. Um, but today is the day that I would be in Indianapolis, Indiana, staying at the Sheridan Hotel on Monumental Circle, and I would be getting ready to go for a half marathon run with thousands, tens of thousands of people. And uh, I've done this for, this 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 would have been, I've done this for three years. This would have been my fourth year, but I was working on, on my third year of getting this, this series they were working on. And today I would be there. Today I would be lining up at the starting line, getting ready to go. And it kind of sucks. Um, so I'm out here running, I'm out here just thinking about it. Thinking about just the hotel stay and 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 being a monumental circle and and enjoying that with family, and then the run, the race. Man, it's uh, it sucks. I I would really I would really much rather be there than running this bike trail. That's the way it's got to be, man. I don't know what to do about it. It's like I'm still struggling a little bit today. Um, calves are sore, feet are sore. I don't know how to sort this out. And I don't think I'll probably ever run a big race again. I don't know. I guess I should never say never. There's there's hope. We'll see. Anyway, I'm going to continue my very bummed out run. But it's cool. I'm happy for the people that are there. I'm happy for the people that are that are running it. And I know some people that are running it. And, I, and props to them. And I hope they do a fantastic job. And I'm sure they will. They always do. I'm going to continue my run. I'll see you guys in the next clip. It is breakfast time. Dad, almost lunchtime. It's just, well, no, it's not. At 10, almost 10.30. Yeah. Our breakfast is like at 6 30. Yes. So we're gonna go get some food. Hey, what in the cold. world are you doing? Yeah, it is very cold out. It's for some reason, I mean it's almost 60 degrees, but it just feels colder. I don't know. I mean there's always a wind chill and there's a little bit of a wind and it's just cold. cold. And we're haven't we haven't adjusted yet to the to our very weird weather. We haven't adjusted yet. So we're gonna go get some food then I don't know what kind of trouble we're going to get into. And I'm going to talk a little bit later sometime about a new YouTube channel I'm going to work on. And I'm talking to one guy in particular now about doing a show strictly for YouTube. Um, I think it's going to be interesting. And, and, and uh, I'll talk more about it later once I get details and things and exactly what's going to happen. I've really got to do a little more research and look into certain aspects of doing my own YouTube show. Which, I mean, I do my own YouTube show, which is this. But I'm talking like a separate channel for, for a specific thing. And it's going to be kind of like, almost like, um, I don't know, how would you explain it? 
like the shows that you see on TV. Like if you ever if you've ever watched like Ink Master, I mean it has nothing to do with tattooing. But if you've ever watched Ink Master or shows like that, it's gonna be kind of along those lines. Except no, it's not because it's not gonna be like judges and all that crap. I don't know how to explain it. Anyway, I will I will try to explain it. <laughs> so I, maybe maybe I don't even know what the hell I'm talking about. You might not. Uh, very possible most likely all right we're gonna go grab some food i will see you guys in the, it is a very we, our little town is very busy right now yeah like coming or what? <laughs> it's the um it's the attack that's gonna happen monday it's not funny i'm not trying to make fun but there's that's what they're saying that before the election that uh we might get a terrorist attack not here in illinois in february N no <laughs> anyway I'm going in see you in the next clip she disappeared. Hey, uh, this, most of my camera gear is put away. How's it going? It is Saturday afternoon. Um, just one of them lazy kind of relaxing Saturdays and not doing a whole lot and that's fine with me. I'm okay with that. I had a good run this morning. Um, I, I have uh, since talked to a few people who ran the, the um, Indianapolis uh, Monumental and uh, <laughs> um, glad for them. Um, kind of wish I could have been there, but I mean, I've, I've done races before where I was injured and it's just not a good idea. And, and the fact that I've done races, long races like that injured might be the reason I'm in the shape I'm in. So this time I really had to say no. And, uh, that was, that was, that's always a hard decision to make because... I really enjoy those races, but that's just the way it goes. I, there's really nothing I can do about it. I can't run with a hurt leg. So, uh, but those guys did amazing. Um, did such an uh, uh, awesome job. Uh, one guy used to be one of my running buddies. Um, we used to run together all the time, and he just gets such a good time on them runs. So, uh, congrats to him and his wife. His wife ran. I think this is her second half, and uh, she did fantastic. So, uh, everybody. Who ran the Indianapolis Monumental? I hope you had a fantastic experience because it's such a cool run. It is such a, a fun race. Oh, so miss it. But anyway, enough of that because all it does is kind of bring me down a little bit. I will get back out there one day and probably run a big race occasionally here and there on occasion. But um, I do enjoy just going out just for the fun of it and just running for my health. But I do, I really do miss those big races. So. Yeah, I'm working on a project, which I, I kind of mentioned earlier, and I'm still not going to give a lot of detail, but look forward to that, and, and as things happen and unfold, I will fill you in on what I'm working on. I have talked to a gentleman about him um, helping me out, and I'm, I'll be using his location, his his facility, his business, as as the first episode of this project and it will be in episodes and, and I'm not sure how long how soon each episode will come out I guess maybe even before I launch the um, YouTube channel for this particular project maybe maybe what I'll do is is I'll hit quite a few different locations so it could be a while before this actually launches but um, we'll see we will see um, because I plan on uh, I plan on doing this, man. I, I really want this to be something that might turn into something else, and, and we'll see. Look, my, my goals, my goals as a videographer, my goals are to to go as far as this possibly can take me, which brings me to this next thing that I want to talk about. See, I, I don't have a lot going on today, so I'm going to use the afternoon to fill you guys in on things that are actually happening in my life and potential things that uh, could be happening in my life um, and, and I kind of hope they go in, in the direction I want them to go. Now I don't think as rational as my wife and I don't really think um, of the process it takes to get to a certain way. See well, I'm a dreamer so when I get an idea in my head I just want to shoot for it. I just want to go and do it and I never really think of, of, of the steps it takes to actually get there. 
and the rational thinking it takes to actually get there. That's why I thank God for my wife. I mean, aside from the fact that she's the most amazing person I've ever met, that that is, she, she keeps me grounded. But, um, one thing that is, is, is a slight, a slight possibility for our future is, is a move. Um, selling our house, um, and moving. Um, one place that we may move to would be Chicago. Um, which in my opinion would be fantastic. My wife and my daughter, that freaks them out completely. Um, but it would be, it would be, could you imagine the vlogs? Chicago vlogs. I watch New York vloggers all the time. I would be a Chicago vlogger, kind of, probably kind of the same, sort of. Um, it would be a big city. But the reason for that would be because if my wife decides to switch jobs um, and work for a different company, the, guy, the, the people that she's negotiating that with requires her to relocate. I'm okay with that. I'm absolutely okay with relocating, and Chicago would be, would be awesome. It would be a a complete change in in in, in uh, lifestyle for sure. Um, living in a big city would 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 I, I think in the beginning would I would feel it would be amazing. It would also be scary, absolutely, because readjusting to that we're we're used to small town life, so um, that would be a major major change. Um, I guess if, if, if it wasn't a ma a, the big city that we would move to, it would be like a, a suburb or, or somewhere close. And, and that, that's, that's a slim possibility. I don't know if that's something we'll actually do or not. It's something that I would like to do, but as my wife and I talk about it, there's just so much involved to make that happen. <laughs> and uh, selling our house for one, um, we've lived here for 10 years. Um, own this property for 10 years. Um, we have a, a big chunk of our family lives right here and we're very close by. And, uh, and, and, but, 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 and so that, that would, that would suck. But my thoughts of living in Chicago and videography, the videography part of my life would just excel because I would be in a place that I could really push that and I would be in a place that would would loads of entertainment and would find need for that I I, uh, I have negotiated jobs with a few people from Chicago that are very interested in what I do and uh, we're, we're talking a little bit about stuff you know doing doing videography work for them which is cool so um I'm, I'm trying to venture in that direction anyway in the way of of work in the way of being a videographer i'm trying to venture in that direction and and uh you know we'll see what happens um so yeah that's uh that's that's uh s s possible change um yeah there's such a there's such a uh, it's kind of split right down the middle there's real a, a part of me that just really wants to just say piss on it and go and just do it and then there's part of me that's like you know maybe not <laughs> for the sake of my daughter um it's scary to try to raise a little girl in a big city like that very scary so for, for, and, you know and, and schooling education and things it would it, it, there's a lot to to think about there so that's why i say a very slim chance and if it does happen we will figure out the educational thing and if it does happen and I can really pull in a load of videography work and start making enough money that my wife don't have to work, she could just homeschool her and that would be fine because um, she would still get a lot of socializing because we'd be living in a big city. So uh, the thought is there. It is it is a possibility. So there's that. And uh, you know, there there's still things coming up with uh, vi uh, videography. Um, uh, things we got coming up with the Christmas uh, Carol Rod Sickler's putting on a performance, or 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 he, he's producing this this Christmas Carol performance, and it's it's got some charity uh, tied into it. Um, Red Hot Winter is coming up in February. February. Um, aside from that, there's for real image media solutions. There's not a whole lot happening. So um, aside from from the Sickler thing and and Red Hot Winter, and, and that's within the next few months. So we'll have to see what's going on, um, see see if we can maybe possibly pull in some work. I don't know. Uh, so yeah, um, tonight I may go to the local bar with my son and have a drink. Um, I will tell you guys this, I don't drink. Um, I haven't drank. 
I, until recently I've had a beer here and there, but it, I was on a dry spell for seven, close to eight years. And then, um, uh, I went out one time and, and I was like, you know what? It's really no big deal. I had one beer occasionally, very, very occasionally do I, I have a beer, but if, if I do, it's, it's really only one or two and usually only one the other night with mountainous at, at the local bar when we was hanging out after the haunt and that week, that weekend I had two beers at the bar and you know, it's just not, it, it, it doesn't, uh, really doesn't thrill me to go to the bar, but my son said, dad, you know, could we go up and just have a drink? And I was like, why not? You know, I mean, he, he, he's been asking me to do that for a while. And I was up there with him the other day and, and it was cool. I mean, it, it's cool. The, the, the bar is really not my thing. It's really, it's really, I, I guess, because at, at my age, you know, I've been there, I've done that. And, and, and it just cost me a lot of money and time and, and, uh, sometimes a lot of physical pain or, or inflicting physical pain sometimes too. And, uh, no, well, it was just, <laughs> it, 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 it had its time and place and is, is long over with. So, but, um, you know, he, he wants to, he said, you know, would you go up? And I was like, yeah, you know, I will. I'll go up and have a drink with you. It's just literally like two blocks, three blocks away from, two blocks away from my house. Um, so I can walk there, have a drink with him, walk home, no biggie. And, uh. But yeah, <laughs> it's gonna be a boring weekend. Um, I I uh, I look forward for exciting things to come. I am I'm really pushing and 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 contacting people and really pushing to to move forward um, with with videography and and make it my job. That is my goal. Um, right now, it's not really a job. Right now, I mean, it does make me money, but it's it's sporadic and in spurts, and some jobs just weren't really worth even the time that we spent on them. And I hate to say that, but they really weren't. It was just uh, some jobs were just it was just like pocket change and 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 uh, you know maybe some experience and stuff. But in 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 the position I am now and the mindset I'm in now, I really want to venture forward and make this a job. And um, I feel like I have the skills as a videographer, maybe, and there is a ton I have to learn, no doubt about it. And I will continually be learning how to be a videographer and be learning new technology and be learning how to edit better and, and all that stuff. Absolutely. I am not the best videographer. The difference between maybe me and someone else is my drive to be better and my drive to move forward and my drive to keep pushing this as far as I can push it until, until you know, until I'm an old man, I'm, I'll, I'll do this until I'm an old man. But I hope within that time frame that I can do some really, really cool things and put some really cool things under my belt and, uh, be a damn good videographer. Be someone that when when they mention videography in this area, that that I would be one of the names that would come up. And um and I would love to work with other videographers and learn what they know and and work together with people. Um absolutely. I'm not I'm not in this as a competition. I I don't want to compete with people. I do want the jobs and I know that it's going to be you know, kind of a get who gets the job first type of thing sometimes. But um, I, I would love to work with other people on projects. Absolutely. I would love to, to, I just, I want, I want it to be bigger and I want it to be better. And uh, that's what I'm shooting for. So, um, yeah, I mean, there is real image media solutions and then there's, you know, stuff that, that I'm going to be doing on my own. And that's all, that's great. That's, that's fantastic. And there's, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. So, um, I'm not going to end the vlog today. I'll probably take the phone with me. I'll take this little device with me. If I go, if I go to the bar and hang out with my son to have a drink and maybe get a little time-lapse footage or a little footage of us just hanging at the bar, uh, spending some quality father son time. He is, uh, my firstborn child, my only son, and, uh, he's pretty special. Uh, as as are all of my kids, um, very special. So, anyway, guys, this is just me rambling because I don't have a lot of vlog content today. Um, I would like to get out tomorrow, maybe try to find something vlog worthy, try to find something to do. We'll see what happens. So yeah, um, business is business. Um, things are okay. Um, 
and and my my heart and my drive is is just I just want this. So um, you will see you will see a lot coming up. A lot coming up. You won't see a lot of people with with good mufflers, but you'll see a lot of other things coming up. That was terrible. Oh, and I also. Um, Another project I want to work on is a podcast, a weekly podcast. It will be a video podcast, but it, it, it will be um, also just an audio podcast that I'll post somewhere. Um, there's there's sites and things that you can, iTunes and stuff that you can post stuff for free. And and um, so I'm thinking of, of a podcast that talks along the lines of videography and um, and ideas and things like that. And I'll try to bring in like people who who. Um, or maybe working on on projects that they want to discuss, and we'll we'll try to, uh, you know, I, I really want to boost my YouTube channel or channels because I may have more. I may have two more, um, and I really want to boost those as well, and and just and just have a show. I want to have a show um, for the one channel. I want to have like a podcast, like talk show, radio, almost talk show for another channel and these are just a couple projects that I have in mind that I really want to do. Um, Mountainous and I are planning on maybe doing something huge together someday. Um, he has kind of got his foot in the door with some people that are or uh, have been on television and we'll see what happens there too. I mean who knows? Who knows what the future holds but I know that I'm willing to to jump in there and uh, and, and make things happen. Absolutely. Alrighty guys. I'm going to go inside for a little while, and, uh, and I'll talk to you guys in the next clip. I don't think there's anything else I want to talk about. I'm pretty sure I covered everything, I think. Anyway, I will see you guys in the next clip. I'm going inside and probably get on my computer. Because it's just one of them lazy days. I better shut my lights out. See you in the next clip. Good morning, YouTube. A happy Sunday morning. It is freezing in the house, very cold, so we're snuggled up in our very warm bed. It makes it hard to get out of bed. It is cold in this house. It's always cold in this house. <laughs> it is Sunday morning, and, uh, we just don't want to get up. I mean, we could we could potentially just stay here all day. I am. <laughs> we we have our devices. I have a phone. I have an iPad. I can watch Netflix. I don't have to get out of bed. Aside from you know using the potty and eating some food, we could just stay here, wife. Just we could just uh, all day long. Just just wake up. Watch some Netflix, go back to sleep, do this all day. Okay. Besides the fact that I want some coffee. I'll take some too. Yeah? Alright. Get on it. No. Woman? Hmm. It is your job to make coffee. Not today. Oh. Usually, it's true. She usually does. I, there for the longest time, I was on coffee duty. And and that's what I did. I got up and I made the coffee and stuff like that. Well, then it, somehow, <laughs> chunky, somehow, I got on breakfast duty and she started doing coffee. I don't know how that happened. I don't even know what. And it wasn't like something like, I was like, hey, you should make coffee while I do breakfast. It just happened. I think it was like that. No, <laughs> I don't think it was. I think you had a bad omelet day. Did I? I think so. I, I was having a struggle in making some omelet. I'm I'm a very good omelet maker, but maybe I had I had a bad omelet day, and so I was like, I am not no because then because I'm doing breakfast now. I know, but you're trying to do both. Oh, uh, so I was trying to do coffee and breakfast, and I was like, you know what? Somebody's got to do that. <laughs> probably I probably <laughs> stop making me look bad. It's not. Anyway, you look pretty. Yeah. Yeah. I look pretty. I'm I'm so pretty. Pretty. Jeez, that's nice. Nice compliment. Anyway, um, <laughs> we, we might be, uh, I might be going and shooting a, doing a video shoot at an event tonight. Um, and just talk to the guy, 
Um, he's going to get back to me. We'll see what happens. If not, it's whatever. But um, might do that this evening, and I'll try to get some of that in the vlog. And uh, and then get this edited up for you guys you know, as soon as possible. Because if I'm, if I'm out late, well, it won't be that late. It doesn't matter. How are you going to do that if we're in bed all day? We're not going to be in bed all day. Mm -hmm. No. Mm -hmm. You behave yourself. So, uh, anyway. So, we'll, we'll, I, will, I will find out later if I'm going to do that event. If not, it's all good. And, uh, and other stuff. Trying to line other stuff up in the way of videography and getting jobs. And it's just pushing forward, pushing forward. Trying to, trying to get the jobs. Some of me get, some of me don't. It's whatever. Alrighty, guys. Happy Sunday. Uh, let's get this day started. Right now. You go make my coffee. Let's get this day started. You should go make my coffee for me. You make coffee. Just do it. You. You're the coffee you maker. You make coffee. See you in the next clip. With a cup of coffee. With a cup of coffee. And don't, don't bite it. Your hands are cold. I know they're cold. It's cold in here. <laughs>
Nerdy YouTube. We are back from the gig, and uh, I'm ready to go to bed. So I thank you guys so much for coming to the Steve to the channel. I thank you so much for watching this episode of the weekly week weekend vlog. And uh, while I go to sleep, you check out some of the footage from this event. I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.